Hey everyone, Matt from TotalMTG and welcome to another deck tech gameplay video. And today I'm playing the deck that has been ranking me up from the lowly, lowly bottoms of the silver grade. Going up to like the middle of gold at the moment. This is a deck that I made and I really just enjoy playing it. I know you could probably say Esper is probably better there, but this is the deck that I made because I like playing with my own sort of brews. And it is a blue-white Azorius Walkers. So, it's a Walkers deck, basically using control. We've got, I'm going to go through the deck, going by CNC order. Two seal away in there as a nice bit of early remove for us. Exile target tap, so they've got to be attacking, they've got to be maybe using a land or elves. Something along those lines. Seal away can deal with that very nice and early bit of remove for us. Dovin's Veto. This spell can't be counted. I just love this. It's in there as a full playset because it is brilliant. There's so much control around. And even if you stop on your, you know, if you're going off first and you can stop that thought rage with Dovin's Veto, sometimes it can just make the game. Opponents will keep maybe a slightly dodgy hand, but they get a thought razor, which means they can then see your hand and take away and see what they're playing. Dovin's Veto, class, class card. So Gideon Blackbade is in there as well. This is one of our finishers. Can be down, you know, comes as the 4-4 creature, just comes in, smashes, can exile opponents. You can give stuff lifelink, vigilance, indestructible. It's really, really nice. We've got, obviously, Lyra in there as one of our creatures. We have Teferi, Time Traveler in there. We've also got Teferi, Heroes of Domineer in there. It's a proper, proper like blue white control deck this is going back to your roots where the control for me was always blue white and this is why i built this because that's the type of control decks that i do like to play prison realm start to really love this card in there as a two of and then more planeswalkers of course narset parter of veils i want to build around this card alone this is a such a good uncommon walker it is so good opponents can't draw more than one card each turn which is strong and the minus two is putting a non-creature in hand and we've got a very good chance of doing that counter spells sinister sabotage and absorb as well life game with absorb always very handy and then dovin's in there as another planeswalker hand of control artifact instants and sorcery spells cost one more for your opponent very nice taxing your opponent is very strong as well I did a nice taxi. If you didn't see the taxes deck yet, go and watch that. That was in a gameplay at the start of the week. Just mentioned about Teferi Time Traveler. Brilliant. Definitely one of the strongest rares from the set. And then we have Settle the Wreckage. Exile all attacking creatures. Nice removal. Doesn't mean they get lands, but hey. We've got Cleansing Nova as well in there. Chemist's Insight for a bit more card draw for us. And I did forget about the other great creature as well from War Spark. How could I forget about the blue god, for God's sake? God Eternal Kefnet. I love Kefnuts. It's amazing. It really is crazy. Four fire flying. We might be able to reveal something. Probably generally not, unless we get maybe a chemist's insight or something like that, because it is mainly counter spells. But a four five beta that's recurring for us, that when they try and kill it, it will come back, is very strong. And even the four five fly for four, just for us, is great. So we've got Cleansing Nova, like I say, we've got Lyra, we've got Teferi, and I've also got a Time Wipe in there as well. It was two, but it had to be cut to one, because I felt like I wanted another little wink on. So we've got Finale of Glory, create X22 White Soldier Tokens, but if it's ten or more, you get the Angels as well. Very, very nice card, and it's like a little late game finisher for us if we're, you know, we can protect it potentially with a Dovin's Veto at the end and then crack that off. And sometimes that one attack is what you need to win the game, especially if you've got the Angels down as well. The lands, we got one Blast Zone, one Mobilized District, and then all of the planes and the islands. These were upped, but I kept finding that I was struggling with the land. I don't know why it just, maybe I need to go to 25 on this, but at the moment it's 24, and I had to cut the colorless down to one and one. But let's go into some ranked play now. And hopefully I won't get tilted too much and get raged because I tend to in ranked. I don't know why. It just annoys me. But let's do some. I promise I'll do a video with some ranked play with my deck. Let's hope the walkers get me up a few little notches. So here we go. We are playing double O Sony or O Sony. We're playing you. All right. So one sinister. Nice lot of lands. And from recent times while well, I've been playing this deck I'm actually I'm going to keep this because I've got lands which has been a bit vacant on my recent ladder, ladder climbing oh the grazer right okay so we're already behind on land but it's okay oh blast zone interesting um I'm thinking maybe a frilled mystic sort of 
Simic control deck, possibly. Blast Zone's going to be blimmin' annoying for us. Okay. There we go. So we may lose the first to Fairy for sure. Yeah, no Rolzig Apex Hybrid coming down. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. We'll be keeping that. Um, and turn, right. So we got our own Blast Zone. Oh, okay. Little Elf. We could crack our own Blast Zone and just clear the field, but hey. They're not really going to do much, you know, much damage to us. Uh, we'll keep that just in case. We don't know. Right. Uh, they've still got Frilled Mystic Manor up. I think I'd like to just stay as we are at the moment. I'd prefer to... Well, even Dovin's Vita doesn't catch that one. It's a bit annoying. We might have to wait for the Sinister Sabotage. Um, but we've got nothing else in our hand, so I don't want to just play that in and then just be left with that. I might do. I might do. It depends what opponent plays. Um, they did play the Apex Hybrid. 4-5. Um, okay. Um, yeah. We'll count that. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I want a bit more mana. I want a bit more mana. Okay. Right, we're going to play Teferi now. Teferi... Let's play to Ferry. What do we draw? What do we draw? We draw another Dovin's Veto. Okay. Uh, untap two lands. So we've got our Dovin's Veto ready in case we need it. Opponent can actually pump up the Blast Zone. Which is a bit annoying. Four. Five. Yep. Dovin's Veto. Love it. Can't be countered. And we're safe from another Blast Zone for a turn. Took the life. Oh, what do we got? Took the life of that. Okay, fair enough. Damn it. Land. Keep up the pace. Come on, we need to draw one of our walkers. Prison Realm. No. Keep as is. Um, submit naught. So we're not going to lose to Fairy this turn. They're going to have to pump up again, which is using another four mana. Looks uh, like we maybe get a permacar from him. Um, let's say no. Because if they do play any permanent creature, big wise, or planes or I do have a prism realm ready. Um, do you know what? For absolute banter, I'm doing it. Because they've got to tick that up again and again. So they can put it up to five this turn. So they can't get rid of it next turn, but we'll make them do it. What we're going to do is make them do it. Um, we don't know what else they're playing, so let's pump. Hold that thought. What do we get? Oh, we get a Dovin. So that destroys. I'm impressed anyone would be so foolish as to face me. I'm gonna. Do, I don't know even if this works. I don't know if this works, um, but I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see if it works. I'm not sure if it works. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a punt because I'm just testing out. Uh, but it does say destroy. Uh, prevents all damage from it, so it completely might not work at all. But I'm testing it out. Ah, it didn't work. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> the grazer wasn't going to do anything, but yeah, it didn't work. Oh, Hydroid Crassus, eh? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, but we got a prison round for that, so we're not worried about that. Oh, a lovely another Teferi. There's Prison Realm, the Hydroid. Uh, that can certainly go to the bottom. Get rid of that. Play Teferi. I hurry. And draw a Teferi again. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Right. It's not going too bad at the moment. Teferi's in hand. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right. Uh, we can actually save that, I think. Let's do that. A solid hit. <sighs> a solid hit. Oh, cleansing Nova just on time. Perfect. We need to move quickly. Okay. Let's play. Pass turn. Sorry. Sometimes I don't like recording ranked play because I get too involved in it sometimes. So I'm really sorry for sometimes I go a little bit quiet. It's just that I'm concentrating. You can probably see the cogs going around in my head. Just going... Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, draw X card. X is 10 or more. Shove your graveyard. Hmm. I mean, maybe I can pull a Dovin's Veto. No, nope, but we got a bright and nice hand there, but they're gonna draw lots of cards. Lots of cards. But we we pulled some nice ones as well. Alright. You know what? I'm not done yet. We've got an absorb there. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Um next, next. End turn, right. Uh, we will untap, untap. We've got an absorb here. Okay. Resolve. Went down to 31 cards. We've got 34. Resolve. Now we could do... Uh, yep, you can keep doing these all day long. 5, 6, 7, 8. We're nearly at the big one. That's a no. Because the thing, clearly they drew nothing there. My turn. We don't really want to use that. Uh, we want the land. Let's plus. No time for a break. Count the spell, please. No, Chemist is inside. Okay. Uh, plus. Can't do it to itself. But we I will attack break. in with Gideon. Um, so what have we got? Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite enough yet. Submit. Right, so Gideon's doing its work. Teferi, Dovin, the blue white walkers are on the field. Oh dear. At least it can't get tokens. Maybe we can stop it. No, we can't stop it, unfortunately, but... Oh. Actually, let's do this and get rid of Dovin. Ah, oh, we draw an Azorb. Unfortunately, it's the one we can't cast. So we really want our opponent not to find... Oh, they're getting this up. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can bounce that. We can bounce it. We got a hero of Defar there. So th what does this do? This makes oh, it gives creatures. That's a bit annoying. Okay. The land for us. Gives it haste. Damn it. 
Uh, gonna attack. Oh, it's a fairy, which means we can't bounce it. No more games. Right. Well, I'm still fine. I'm still fine where we are. Because we can make a huge... If we draw land, we're, we're just going to win the game. Surely. Surely. I've never cast one of these for ten. Okay, that goes to five. Interesting. Okay. This is Triumph. Yep. We need to be killing that. Right, what do we draw? We've got Gideon. Uh, let's plus. Keep up the pace. An absorb, okay. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Yeah, let's attack it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do this for ten. Whoa, that felt good. That felt good. Uh, we will untap, untap. So we got a few little tokens on the field, ladies and gentlemen. But will they survive the turn to win? We know our opponent had three lands in hand. It's a tense game. Nissa versus Gideon versus Teferi versus Dovan. The blue white walkers are here. Wish we had one more land, but we couldn't. We had to do it for the 10. We wanted to get the flying vigilance. Wanted to get it all. What does opponent have? Hydroid Crassus. Okay. That's big. That's big. That is big. 32 life and they've nearly drawn their whole... I mean, if they gave that haste, we're just dead. Oh, no, we're not. We got... We got that. And that's enough and a win. They just wanted to cast that for 25. We ranked. Whew. Well, it was a good win. I'm happy with that win, and you got to see the deck in action there. That was really cool. Let's have another game. So, obviously, this is a real grindy deck, as you can see. So, there probably won't be as many games today, because they do take quite a long time, especially when you're playing in ranked as well. But I can do a few, you know, more videos if you want to see more ranking play with this. Um, I'm just going to keep. It's a, it's a slow hand, as long as we're not playing red. Don't be red. Don't be red or blue. Right. Here we go. What is that first land that you will play, Space Dragon? And it's red, of course. Oh. Damn it! Of course it's going to be red. After that epic first game, this will probably be done in about two minutes flat. Yep, Viashino. Now, this game might not highlight, but we do actually have a, quite a good game against red. Normally. Not when we draw land after land after land, but hey, Settler Wreckage is going to be good for us. Especially if they play maybe a Kin here or a Whirler. Okay, another Vichino. Uh, going to go straight down to a minimum 11 here. Okay, land and shock. Oh dear. Down to 11. Right. Uh, we're not going to play Kefnet just yet. Uh, we're going to obviously hold up the cell, the wreckage. What's coming down? Are they going to attack all in? Did not attack him with a fire band? Interesting. Well, we're getting rid of two pyromancers, so that is good for us. Uh, we can potentially play Kefnet next turn, or we could play Teferi. We might need to distract our opponent a little bit. Okay, shock. Shock. 
Four cards, three lands. I mean, I think we're pretty much dead. Oh, Chain Whirler, okay. Come on, we really want cleansing Nova. Oh, that's not a bad draw. Let's play Lyra. Gives us a little chance. But we're not in a great state. We really need to get an attack in here. Seven mana with the red deck. Wow, with three cards in hand. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Dead. <laughs> That's what it could be. Alright. It's a slow roll from Space Dragon. Come on, kill us now if you've got the cards. If you've got the cards, just play it. On to the next game. Come on. Well, we have to block. We have to block. Yeah, fair enough. We still go to 13 life, so I'm, I'm happy about that. It's still a big chunk of life to go back up to. And we can play Kefnets or we can play Teferi. Um, let's, let's play Teferi, actually. They've got two cards in hand. See what we can draw. We might better draw and absorb if we're lucky. Dovin's Veto is not too bad. Dovin's Veto sweet. Um, untap. Untap. Which means we've got a cat spell for anything burn related. Except for that. Um, I think we may... Yep, brilliant. We may be turning this around. We may turn this around. We looked dead in the water. They can't kill Teferi this time, and we can get Kefnet down. Okay, attack, attack. Uh, let's pump up the Teferi. What we got? Oh, Gideon. Um, three. We're going to plan both. Here we go. Uh, that one. And we give it indestructible to end of turn. And we will untap, untap. Right, we may be turning this around. 11 life, two brilliant planeswalkers and the god on the battlefield. That we will be able to gain life with. Oh, risk factor. Oh, experiment and frenzy. That is bad for us. That is bad. That can chain off. That can chain off. We really need to draw a prison. No, prison doesn't deal with it. We can bounce it potentially with the Teferis, but we don't want Teferi to die for that. Okay. Silhouette's not too bad. Um, decline. Um, let's draw a card. No time for a break. And we get a sinister. That's nice. Uh, do that. Okay, and we're gonna go for lifelink. And we will all out attack. We're gonna put the pressure on. We're getting aggro with the blue white deck now. We're gonna go up to fifteen life. Counter spells in hand. End turn. Untap. Submit naught. Right. Can we get this match? It's looking good. I still never count my blessings when I'm playing red, though. Lightning strike. Counter. Uh, we get to surveil. That can go to the graveyard. So even when they attack, we've got to set the wreckage here as well. Yep, resolve. Yep, resolve. Two damage to Planeswalker. Oh, no, two damage to us. Okay. Risk factor. Okay. Uh, if you decline, we will decline. Because we want them to draw the cards because I've got Experimental Frenzy there. So if they go all attacking, set up the wreckage, boom. 
Come on, attack. Attack. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh, I want him back. Oh, here we go. Keep attacking in. Yes. Yes. Settle for the win. Bye bye, red creatures. Boom. Sorry, I get so happy when I beat red with my bruise. I love it. You know, red is such a good deck. Oh, and we get one of them. Uh, we will decline. Let's draw a card. Cleansing Nova. Plus, on that, give it lifelink. I believe. Attack all in. Pound of blocks. Back up to 17 life end turn with an absorbing hand as well. Looks like we are going to win. Potentially. Fingers crossed. Come on. Absorb. None of that shenanigans going on. Back up to starting life total. That's what I like to see. Need a creature. Opponent needs a creature. Uh, decline. <laughs> you can draw the cards. I mean, they, it's going to cost them four to get rid of that and they're only leaving with now four mana. They should not be able to do 20 damage with four. Okay. Oh, oh, taking Gideon. Run away, Steamkin. Oh, that's, it's getting a bit tasty again. Come on. Get in these to survive. What is on the top of you? You've got 19 cards left, Space Dragon. 19 cards left. Tense game. Oh, that makes it interesting. Resolve. Okay. Resolve. Now, if that attacks in, we've got the seal away. We really need to have nothing else on top. Come on. Seal away. Hopefully it saves Gideon. It saves Gideon. Right. Um, hold on. Let's draw a card. Hurry. Sinister Sabotage. Not too bad. Um... Gonna give it vigilance. Let's go. Down to four. End turn. Right, submit. Oh, this game is so close. We've got the win with the god there. A turn up. We got twenty life. We've got a counter spell and a chemist's insight. 13 life, though. They could crack this off. Um, shock. Where's Shock going? Shock's going there. Okay. There's one. What's coming? Okay. Taking the mana. Count the spell. I'm thinking we were going to win, and now I think I'm going to blimmin' lose. Oh, no. Um... I'm going to have to put that on top, you know. I'm going to have to put it on top just in case. Just in case. 12 mana. They're not cracking this, though. They're doing it now. 
Now we could be in trouble. Run away stinking. Okay. Just play loads of creatures. I've got a cleansing over here. That's all I want you to do is play loads of creatures. Come on. Come on. Creature City. I've only got 12 cards left. So cracking these, I'm just going to make them make sure they keep drawing the cards. But it depends how much burn they've got left. What have they used? Goblin Chain Werner. Okay. Resolve. Oh, that's not good. Want me to phase you out of time? Worse. Goblin Chain Werner. Oh, no. Kefnet might be gone. Or two. I mean, we've got cleansing Nova, so we're okay at the moment. I've got Chemist's Insight. I can get another Teferi in there. I mean, that's dead straight away. Yeah, take action. Put that back in. Third from the top. That's there. We can draw it next turn. We've got Chemist's Insight here, so we can get Teferi and that. But none of these have haste, do they? I should be able to just... If they don't play anything else... Oh, there is. Damn it! Oh, didn't take Gideon. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Chemist's Insight. Let's draw the cards. Let's draw them. Oh, Dovin's Veto. Okay. Dodgy game. Dodgy game. Okay. Yep. Yeah, fine with that. 12 cards. We're going to clear all these creatures. Oh, damn it. Down to 10 cards. Can play a land. Go on, play a land and play the Steam King. That's really what I want. Right. Cleansing Nova. What is opponent doing? This has turned into an epic game. Destroyed again. Okay. All gone. Right. Opponent's got nine cards, but they can do got fifteen damage to do. Steam King goes down. Risk factor, can we take? Screw the critics, nice. Down at twelve. Let's play the god. We've got Dovin's Veto here ready to counter the risk factor. We can't counter that. Resolve. Resolve. Not a lot they can do. Not a lot. Let's play Gideon. God's blessings in our righteous cause. What a combo this is. Yes! What a win! Oh, wow. That was an epic win against the Red Deck. Jeez. I mean, they were two very long games. Um, but I hope you've really enjoyed seeing those matches. I'm going to keep it two just because the video would be really long if I do a third one. But yes, my blue-white control deck. I love it. I love playing it. Told you, it's got game against the red. It really does have game against the red. So obviously, I'll leave a link to the deck list below if you want to try and make it. It's really, really fun. And if you're fed up of playing Esper, this is definitely a good one to play. And it's strong. It can win games. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. I really hope you like this one. Please leave a like if you can. It does support the channel. It just makes me keep making these videos. I do them every other day. And of course, subscribing if you're new helps the channel as well. Anyway, you take care and I'll see you on the next video.